Good morning, friends, and welcome to a Move Miss Day 7. It is around 9.30 this morning. I woke up, finished editing and uploading, and then <laughs> went back to sleep. And Stephen and I both slept until like 8 o'clock. Stephen is only working till 1, so we'll have the whole afternoon together later today. Um, we want to get a couple things done and squared away, just like tying up loose ends, but yeah. So it's been like an easy, breezy morning thus far. I've really done nothing. And I was chatting with a few of you, uh, either in the comments on my last video or on DM and Instagram. I chat with so many of you over there. If you're not following me on Instagram, you need to be because it's where I probably get a chance to connect the most. But there were two things that came up. One of my dear friends shared the quote, you are a human being, not a human doing. I think I'm grappling in this first week of like, am I being productive enough? A little bit of guilt that I am able to have this time. And that idea of like, you're a human being, not a human doing. I just have gotten so wrapped up into being a human doing that I have slowly been making my way back towards a human being. And then <clears throat> another discussion was, I'm always sorry, I'm always so congested in the morning. Um, another thing that came up was that you're not living for the weekend anymore, so Friday probably feels so different. And that's so true. I am looking forward to the weekend because of more time with Steven and we'll probably do some family dog things, but I haven't like had to push through a week just to get to the weekend that would go too quickly. And that's the other thing that I'm realizing. This week has gone slow, not in a bad way at all. I just feel like I've actually have felt the days, although I cannot keep track of any of them. It just feels so different and I feel like I've actually like felt the day and its length and how much time we are actually given because I've just not been like hustling through it and not paying attention. So those are like two things that I've woken up and really been reflecting on. And then the other thing and the last thing I'll leave you with is so many of you said that you're so excited to not just watch the move, but also this journey that I'm on, like kind of rediscovering and redefining things for myself. And that is so cool because that is what I wanted um, part of the essence of movements to be. When we get into the real move, I have every day scheduled of like kitchen organization, bathroom organization, um, all of the empty house tours and the styling and the decorating and all those things mapped out. But in this first transition, it's really about me kind of coming back to myself and finding myself and reimagining what my future looks like moving forward, knowing that there are so many opportunities. And it's really cool that you guys are enjoying that process as much as the other pieces that will come along. But. That is our Friday morning thoughts, and right now, it's rainy and cold. It's super rainy outside right now, and just like overcast and dreary and a little chilly. <laughs> she is passed out on the couch. Look at her. He went into the office, so he is chilling. I do have Taylor Swift playing in the background. Look how straight she has her legs. Oh, is this silly goose? <laughs> look how straight her legs are. Oh, silly goose. You look like Riga Mortis said it. <laughs> Riga who? Oh, is it my perfect little lady? And your perfect old brother? Oh, she is such an angel. Oh, I love her so much. -es. I love her so much. -es. All right. We are going to continue to take this day easy and enjoy our Friday. I made myself a little bit of breakfast because I'm going to try to do a longer run today. So I'm making some good seed organic bread. This is by Dave's Bread. It's really great. It has a lot of protein and fiber in it, which is wonderful. And then I just made myself some scrambled eggs with some jalapenos in it. 
So I have two pieces of bread. I'll probably scoop my eggs out onto it. I am such a hot sauce fan that I actually, because it bothers me when some of my eggs at the bottom don't have hot sauce, I actually put a, some Cholula at the bottom of my bowl before I put my eggs in, just so I know that they all get hot sauce. And then the next thing I do is I put half the eggs in, put a little bit more, then I put the rest of my eggs in, and then I top it off with a little bit more. That way, every bite is pretty much covered in hot sauce. I am pretty versatile in my hot sauce. I like them all. I like some Tabasco. I like Frank's. I like Cholula. Really, I'm an equal opportunity hot sauce eater. All right, there is my breakfast. before my run. I am just getting ready to go for my run. What I'm loving is the new entertainment interface on Peloton. <clears throat> so you can get Disney Plus, Netflix, YouTube TV. There's a couple others, but then you can just like use it as a tr regular treadmill that you would use at the gym and watch TV on. I'm gonna pick up where I left off with the Ares tour and just do like a little bit of a long walk before I start my run. That way I'm good and warmed up. Alrighty, friends, it is going on 5 p.m. It's uh, been a lazy day, but it was kind of dreary and overcast. Stephen did come home in the afternoon. We took a nap and hung out with the dogs. And then we had one of our buyers from the moving cell. They just came because we had a schedule because they bought one of the beds upstairs. Um, and, and two other bigger pieces of furniture. They're also the people that we gave our fiddle leaf fig to because she just seems like she's a good plant mom. <laughs> so we gave it to her and we are going to start a new one when we get to Charlotte. And yeah, so just got rid of some furniture. Dinner, we are keeping simple tonight. We're gonna have just a pizza and wine night. We have pizza being delivered a little bit later this evening, and we're just gonna keep it low key. <sighs> I feel like that has been my motto this week, keep it low key. All right, so there are two questions that keep coming up for you. One is what are you most excited about moving? Um, the chance to see all the places that I have been and see how they've changed. That's what excites you the most? Yeah. What's one of the first places you wanna visit? Uh, the Greenway. Ah, uh, tell them why the Greenway. Because Bubba's and I used to walk on the Greenway all the time. That's where he learned to walk on a leash. Yes, exactly. Do you remember those initial lessons? Yes. Tell them what Bubba's was like on a leash when we got him. Not good. What was it like walking him on a leash for the first... He barked at all the car and try he tried to chase all the cars. It was pretty... So it was pretty was not. He was not well trained. But yeah. we... I've trained him and he's been a good doggy. Besides the Greenway, what would be another place that would be on your top list to uh, visit? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it's just our old neighborhood. Yeah, I'm excited to go to like Park Road Shopping Center yeah. and see how it's changed. Yeah. The other question is that has been asked, have you noticed a change in me this week? Yes, you've been happier. You've been more relaxed and happier because you're not at work. <laughs> Anything else you want to add about the move? Mm, not right now, no. <laughs> you're a man of few words. Yes. Bob is this excited. What are you most excited about the move? My time capsules. Oh, what's a time capsule? It's, it's the garbage cans <laughs> that I put his poop bags in. We call them time capsules. He's going back to excavate them? Yes, to see how they've fared for 13 years. What are you most excited about for the move? Love! <laughs> that, that would be your answer. More people to love! Yeah, that's about right. More dogs to love! And hopefully more pillows to sit on? She's so funny. That would be her answer though. My sister's very excited to meet her. Oh yeah, your sister's alive. Yeah, they haven't met Mabel well, yet. The, the last time when Bubba's met your sister. He peed on her couch. Yes, so hopefully Mabel is not. 
She doesn't like to lay. But my sister never knew he peed on her couch, so we Unless can't. We can't. Should I keep that in? Does she, does she still have the couch? I don't know. Well, I think it's 13 years ago. So she probably does not have the couch. Didn't you like yes, sneakily I cl I clean? Cleaned it up. I cleaned it up. Was it a full pee? No, it was. A, he marked his territory on the couch. I don't know why. It wasn't even his house. Well, sis, we're sorry if you're just learning this for the first time. But the first time Bubba's was in your house, he peed on your couch. He lifted his leg on the back of the couch. Yes. So. Oh, goodness gracious. Now he can't even, he can't even lift his leg, so. <laughs> All right, friends. That is a wrap on day seven of Move Miss, and I will see you tomorrow. Love you all. Bye-bye.